Welcome back, guys. It's your favorite podcast. We just came back from a beautiful run at night, and I'm one of your first hosts, uh, first hosts Herbert. Jonathan. And Ricky. And Ronnie. And uh, we had a wonderful past week. Um, we uh, What was our first? Our Black Star Canyon. Yes. And we also... Oh, go. Black Star Canyon. Yeah, I'm sorry, Herbert. Um, no, I'm going okay. to take off, dude. But Black Star Canyon, dude, uh, it was a great hike. It was weird, though, because at first, um, this, this hike, we thought it was going to be hard because on all trails, it said hard. So I was, like, hyping it up. I was telling everybody, hey, bring your water, bring your your Theo, your Thea, like, to, to help you, like, cross the rocks and all that, like, the rock scrambling, but... Yeah, yeah I, well, I mean, you were trying to, like, give a warning to people, too. It's like, oh, hey, like, this is going to be a hard hike, just FYI, you know, for those people that, you that, know, don't really hike or just showed up, like, no, like, you need to be aware. And and it was crazy, though, because it was hard for some people. I don't know if you noticed, but I know you guys were in the front. Like, Herbert, you are in the front, right, leading the pack? 100% I was in the front, yeah. And I was then, in the front, too, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you're in a different type of front. Well, I wasn't. I was in the front the whole time, but towards the end, when when it got a little rocky, I broke off because we surprised everyone with a little rappel. But we'll talk about that later. Right now, but real, the details of that. Yeah, the details of Black Star Canyon. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a. It was our first time hitting that. Um, that uh, like the national forest out there. Um, and it's located uh, as you can see. It's like in the OC area, right? Yeah. Um, and it was our first time. It was really awesome. Like the there's a lot of people. Though, I'm gonna be real. Uh, it felt like LA, LA traffic. We that, always say that. That was our biggest group so far. No, it was 41 people. Dude, like why are we, why are we getting so popular? Like I never thought in my life I would be popular. Look at me now. Damn. Look at me now. Dude, the people want to hang out with you, Herbert. I know, dude. Oh yeah. I, I told you, like some lady was like, oh my God. Like she wasn't even a part of our hike. I was like, oh my God, the baddies. I like, I know you guys. And she, she knew me. It was crazy. Like I've never had that happen in my life. Oh, did, did they call you HR or? or? No, I think they just know me that I was the guy that fell. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, we. Yeah. Well, oh, You're it's, yeah. it's, it's because I posted the 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 you falling right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, Herbert Falls, right? Yeah, Herbert, Herbert Falls, Falls, right? But, but um, I know that um, that falling like it got a lot of like likes. I thought it wasn't, but yeah, you're popular now. And um, they were saying like, what kind of shoes was I wearing? Because I was in front of you and I wasn't falling. Yeah. So I told everybody what shoes I was wearing. But I guess you're falling. Um, I, I think you just like, you thought it was a playground. Dude, no, I'm not good at balance. Like, I just, I can't. Like, I, like if once I see, like, an obstacle, like, I know I'm going to struggle. That's just my life. Like, con constant struggle, constant falling. That's just me. All right. But real quick, though, going back to Black Star Canyon, um, how, what's the stats on the trail, uh, Rike? On, on all trails, it says that it's a 6.7 mile hike, and it only has, a, like, 800 feet elevation. 846 so it's it's not a bad hike like that but it, it does have that little rocky area towards the end so you got to be uh yeah be, be able to kind of go through a little bit of rocks and like i guess through a little bit of water and just watch your footing so like if you take a dog or whatever like you you kind of want to make sure you can you might have to carry him at some points like on your shoulders to go over some rocks um sometimes you won't depend on the water but i mean it's, it's just good to know that it, it does get a little rocky towards the end it, what was that? Oh, the thing about that hike that it was like i felt like there were so many like paths like oh, to get to yes, a certain, like, yes. like, like, like everyone would take an easier one. Then like we would find out, oh no, this is the hard one. Like there's another way to go. And then there was like, we missed like a rope and then, yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. The rope. And then, yeah. um, the good thing is we always carry a rope. Um, I did use it a little bit, but, um, that rope, um, I kind of like took it away cause there's some people. Um, but like I said, no one left behind. Uh, I stayed in the very back. I made sure that everybody got there safe. I thought I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I lost some of you, but you guys were like staying close to the river, right? Or the mm -hmm. creek, or you want to call it? Um, but the creek, uh, we did do some crossing. Um, I didn't get wet. Did you guys get wet? Like your shoes wet? Or I'm never wet around you, no. <laughs> no, no. Not that wet. It's probably not like, the first time you've heard that. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about, you, did you get your feet wet, though? Yeah, I got wet. You got wet? Oh, you got yeah. wet, Herbert? Yeah, a little bit. There was a... Yeah, it was condensation. There was I didn't got wet. There was moisture, <laughs> for sure, in my in my socks. I was... Yeah, I was really trying hard not to, like... Get wet? Get wet, like... Yeah, because I don't want to get wet that early on in the hike, either. <laughs> Cause then it's first of all it's like freaking cold, yeah. And then I don't know, just having wet socks. Uh -uh, it's just oh yeah, it's just that. not the greatest feeling. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I didn't mind getting wet like on the way back. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. but real quick. Uh, so the, uh, you said it was six point something. I think in our Starbucks it said like seven. We, right? we recorded like almost eight. I think I recorded like eight point two. But that's I I um no oh, no you had my phone. So then you, whatever you. Oh yeah, yeah, I was recording with your phone. Um, so real quick though, if you guys don't know um. We did take 41 of us uh, people going up there, but four of them, uh, Enrique will talk about this real quick since we were there. Uh, four of them uh, ended up doing what, Enrique? 
So we surprised everyone. We we brought our repelling gear and we were actually repelled the waterfall at Black Star Waterfall. So that was really exciting. We we broke off kind of like before the the rocky part started and we kept kind of going straight at some point. We went around to the back of the waterfall and then we got to the top. We, we actually repelled like a smaller segment first and then and then we kind of got to the waterfall you guys were at. And then yeah. The and good then, the good thing is that we had a walkie talkie so I was able to uh, record it with the drone. Um, me and Erika were talking walkie talk, you know, back and forth. He was saying like, what, what do you like saying? The gummy, gummy, gummy bear. It's, it's, it's code names, man. You got to have code names when you have walkie talkie. So like I, I decided to come up with your code name and I decided to call you gummy bear and I called myself gummy worm. So like when I call you in, <laughs> it was like gummy bear, gummy bear, come in. This is, this is gummy worm. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I wanted to turn it off, bro. So I was in the like. Yeah, I wasn't gonna like. Knock. He's, he's just a hater, but I, I, I think it was fantastic names. Dude. People said they were appropriate because, see, I'm, I'm kind of skinny, so gum, g- a gummy Wait, worm makes sense. Can we all have co- like? Well, how come we don't have code names? Can me and Ronnie have a fucking code yeah, name? Yeah, can we? Um, actually, speaking of that, like, can we get walkie talkies? Like, can we sync yeah. two more to like your two? Yeah, just you, uh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can sync as many as you want to the same get, channel. Let's get some, Ronnie. Let's get some, dude. Okay, I actually have some it. really cool earbuds that makes you look like an FBI agent. Wait, but what it's just, like, so cheap. What would be our code name? your code name? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think How about you, like little pendeja, like <laughs> like a stripper that's name. Too long? That's, that's too long. You gotta have like a like diamond or Precious. something. Pepper. Oh, pepper, pepper. pepper. Yeah. Why? What, what, why pepper? I've always been a big fan of pepper, like with eggs. I just always been a fan of that, like so, spice. What the fuck? So, so you want okay, your code I name? think of I think of pepper from American Horror Story. I've you never know, you watched. Know the twins, like the ugly ones. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> okay. I just know it as a. As a spice. What about what about like like Nimbus? Nimbus. That's like Can Goku's cloud when he used to fly on it when he was a kid. You guys don't watch cartoons. Nimbus. Can I be like? What about like Pooh, like from Winnie the Pooh? Pooh. Oh, oh yeah. Pooh <laughs> signing out. Pooh oh, signing out. Cool. Not poop. It sounds like poop. No, not. Well, there's no P at the very, end. It's very, poop. very close. Yeah. But no, but we'll, we'll talk about our names later. So real quick. Uh, so real quick, Enrico, what was going through your head uh, when you were repelling? Like, I know um, you went with experienced people, uh, Stinky Buds, Sandra, Stinky Buds friend. Um, and then I know they had stuff like. They already, they've been through all this and they've been through like all these different types of repelling um, waterfalls. Yeah, so, so they've actually taken some courses that usually go about for like $400 for the course. And they there's like five levels, I believe. You don't have to take out five. I think after you take the first level of $400 and I think it's just for the weekend, for one weekend, then you learn enough to be able to go and repel on your own. And I think the people I, I was with, they they had a few of those classes with them as in like they, they knew what they were doing. They had the rope, they had the equipment and I learned a lot from them. I really did. I know enough, but they definitely knew more. And, and it was really exciting to kind of be with them and see them kind of work. And we encountered a few kind of hiccups along the way where, like, we weren't supposed to. It was supposed to be easier than that, but we they, they knew how to improvise. We ended up tying it to a tree, obviously a very safe tree. It was like I couldn't even hug it with my arms. Like, it was it was a, a thick tree. And we tied the rope around there, and, and that's the tree we used to repel down to the waterfall in front of you guys. Um, and I know um, I remember, like, we were going back and forth, and I was like, man, like, this is my first time, um, like, recording someone going down the waterfall on the drone and um there were some trees i don't know if you guys saw there were some trees right there like by the waterfall um and i don't know if you guys heard like the drone was beeping because it has like some sensors so it kept beeping on me but um i tried to get close enough we did get some good footage but i think next time if we ever do it again we'll get better footage because um i don't know like you, you get better at it right it, it was a difficult waterfall to use a drone because it was a little like it was it was kind of like bushy towards the top a lot of rocks and trees up there but other waterfalls are pretty exposed, so you can probably fly the drone better. But I, I think we got great footage. I, it was fun repelling down. And people enjoyed seeing everyone repel. That was something new. I just wanted to say that was probably the most. I've, I already told you this, but it was the most attractive thing I've ever seen you do. Oh, my God. And I've seen you do a lot of attractive <laughs> things. No, truly. Like, if I was ever, like, if I ever got tired of being, you know, hetero, I would <laughs> I would 100% switch to people who repel. Like if, Damn. Uh, males. Well, I'm, well, I'm flattered to hear that as I'm sure the, the group that went with me is also flattered to, to know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, everyone around me was like, oh my God, that's like so attractive. Well, that's, that that's was kind like, of embarrassing <laughs> now, now that I think about it. But <laughs> Actually, that's how I got wet. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> with that one. <laughs> uh, real quick though, uh, I know the waterfall, um, it, there was enough water flowing. So that was a good thing for us, right? Because we want to see water. <laughs> we, we went to a waterfall to see water flowing, right? Um, but I didn't know that the waterfall like goes through a cave. I didn't go up oh, there to yeah. the cave, but mm-hmm. I know that you, you saw it. Enrique. I fell in it. Yeah, you fell well, in the cave. Because I was repelling and, and everyone was saying, go in the cave, go in the cave. And then I kind of slipped a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I, I didn't get hurt. I, I just slammed a little bit, but it wasn't painful at all. I just, if it, it felt like a comfortable slap, uh, slap to the water. Slap on But I, I ended up getting like into the hole and I couldn't see where it went. It was kind of dark, but then I heard a voice and it was kind of awkward. I don't know. 
But the point is that I, I was into it, and it looked pretty cool, though. And so you, honestly, when I saw it from the outside, it, it ended right there. I, sh- I should have gone through the hole. You should have gone in the hole, man. I should have. Always go in the hole. <laughs> never. Yeah, dude. Well, I pulled out, and I, I ended up repelling the other side of the <laughs> hole. You never pull out. Pull That's one the, of the baddie mottos. That's our next shirt. That's our next shirt. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I know I know the, I know know um, Enrique, uh, he was able to bring his rope, um, and his rope came in handy. Um. It was a waterfall as well. Like, I think it was like 90 feet because I, I took the it drone out like 90, but I think it, it's it's like 150 feet waterfall or, foot or I don't know, something 90 to 150 uh, uh, foot waterfall. But it looked pretty nice. So um, everybody, the good thing that we had people recording at the bottom because it was our group and then we had the drone recording. So we got some good, cool footage, I guess. Uh, maybe you guys haven't seen it. Look at look at our Instagram page and I'll be posting more about this uh, repelling stuff because it's just awesome. Um, it's can be dangerous uh, and we could tell you about it like sometimes you're scared of it like Enrique, want uh, what did you tell me Enrique? you're like dude everybody's looking at me so i oh well so i guess a little backstory we we repel me and jonathan and i will guess the, the the baddies right um we don't really bring people for obvious reasons like we don't i mean it's it's a liability i guess we kind of just do it for ourselves for sport we're, we're still learning and i hadn't gone or we haven't gone since last year so this would have been the first time back and I, i'm going with a bunch of pros so i'm like dude i have to pretend like i know what i'm doing <laughs> and i was just kind of going there but it was, it was really fun it was, i had I had a lot of fun repelling and i know you got wet i I, well, I was repelling through the waterfall so i was definitely wet because i oh yeah because i know stink <laughs> stinky but uh she had a, a wetsuit right? oh yeah her, her, yeah she had a wetsuit so like they um, both had a wetsuit on yeah wait everybody no just them two, two. yeah Sandra and, and Stinky Sandra Butts. Sandra and Sneaky Butts, yeah. We, and then are we going to buy wetsuits? Dude, I want to have a wetsuit, to be honest. Should, we just, wear, should we just wear it on hikes? <laughs> I just wear it to work, actually. <laughs> well, if, if you're going to get wet, they're great to have. But, like, even if you're, but if, I mean, even snowboarding, just to kind of stay warm. But, like, if you're surfing, they're good to have, obviously. And then repelling, I guess, it's good to stay warm. Yeah, it was but, like, but they're a little pricey. Yeah, and you got to get them no, the right yeah. size. You have to get them the right size. And you try not to grow too much or shrink too much because they're supposed to be on you tight. So yes. what's, like, the perfect size? Yeah, you uh, like an uh, like a centimeter within your body range, I guess. Of not getting get, bigger or smaller. Should we go get fitted? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the baddies go get fitted for uh, wetsuits. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like that's it, it, it has to be like a certain amount of millimeters tight on your body. Like <laughs> like, oh, it's, it's not too much free space. So <laughs> tight is good. Yes. Well, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> can, can we? Can, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Herbert, can we? Uh, we should all just go take a field trip to go get uh, uh, suited. Or like size, fitted. yeah, and, fitted. Have a and then no, you record it, but we don't buy anything. We just walk. Know, we just, they're, they're the owners all mad. <laughs> but I, I know that me, uh, me and Herbert talking about wetsuits. Uh, we we went on a dry suit, um, in oh, Iceland. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was tight when we went in the water. Remember? Yeah, it was tight. Remember, uh, Steph, like her hands were purple. Like there was no blood circulation. Yeah, dude, people were losing circulation. Um, because you know, no water. Su- when it's a dry suit, no water supposed to get into the suit. Like. But when it's a wet, so you're like literally like wet, right? Um, but um, I know that both of them, like you float with them. It helps you float. Yeah. So if you don't know, if you ever go like to um, out of the U.S. or even here in the U.S., like go snorkeling or something. And if you can't swim, then I recommend you getting a wetsuit or a dry suit because it kind of helps you. Hmm. Um, I, don't, I, I suck at swimming. I'm, I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, but I don't know if you guys are good swimmers, but no. I can I can hold my own. I mean, I've only, no, I can hold my own. I can manage. Yeah. So real quick though, I know we went on a tangent with repelling, but um, on Black Star Canyon though, uh, well, while we're waiting for the repel team to set up and all that good stuff, uh, we had a raffle going, right, oh, Herbert? Yeah, very fun. Uh, yeah. Her- Ron, yeah. Yeah, Herbert and Ronnie, right? Tell me about it, because um, I was I was in the back end. So so, so the fun thing was uh, actually getting to talk to everybody who joined our hike, even actually people who didn't join our hike. I gave them tickets. I actually was hoping they didn't win, which thankfully they didn't. <laughs> um, but no, it was nice getting to talk to everyone and everyone seemed happy to join. Everyone, Some people thought like, oh, do I have to pay? I'm like, no, no, just yeah. get a ticket. Yeah, I went up to people too and they were like, wait, like what's going on? Like, I was like, oh no, like we're doing like a little raffle, you know, Surprise. we have a little merch, we have like a little giveaway, you know? And they're like, oh, heck yeah, like can I get two tickets? And I was like, nah, 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 it's like one per person. It's like, yeah. oh, what about my dog? And I was like, no, it's like one per person. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you, you, don't, you, you kicked that dog, huh? No, no, actually, <laughs> no, actually, the dog bit me, man. No <laughs> so, way, no way. There, there was this girl who brought her little dog. It was like a cute little dog, but obviously, like going up to the the waterfall, like there were some huge rocks that you had to like climb up. Obviously, so I remember she kind of got stuck, and the dog got, and I looked at her, and I was like, oh, like let me help you out, you know. So she's like, okay, here, like grab him, and then I went to grab him, and then like he went crazy on me, and like he like 
bit me, but obviously not hard. But like he bit my like finger, and I was like, "What the?" I was like, "Dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to help you out here, bro." Did you bite him back? <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to talk to the dog? Like, dude, you know no, what's yeah, going I was on like, there? "Yo, chill, man. Like, come on, Did you give him a sticker. To, I'm here to help you." Nah, I should have. <laughs> but then after, like, I helped him once more, and then towards the end, like, he actually came up to me and like sniffed me, and I was like, "Yo, what's up?" Like, <laughs> we we clicked. It was good. It was a good time. You should have bit him back. You should have. I, I always bite back. Dude, imagine the controversy if Bronny bit a dog. <laughs> The, well, we would shut down the page immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Peta will come out to me like you, we heard you guys are biting dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do though next time we we know that dogs are coming. We should bring we should take snacks like not snacks but like dog uh, oh, treats. I thought about that. I thought not about snacks. That. I'm that'd be cool. About dog, like, that'd, be, that'd be cool. Dog food because treats are kind of big. Like they're, they're kind of they really are treats. Just dog food is the best way because you're supposed to be training your dogs with their food. So I think it's a good way. I know a lot of people don't train dogs, but that's. It's good to have their food. But let's be real. All these dogs eat different um, different foods. I'm going to be real. Like some dogs are picky. They don't want dry food. They want like the little canned food. Well, then so. they, they won't get our present food if we try to spoil them. But Well, I think if, if the dogs are hiking, I think they're going to be hungry either way, right? Herbert, like you're hungry. Yeah, you get yeah. hungry. You eat, eat anything. anything. Right, Herbert? Dog on me? I eat anything? Yeah, when you're, when you're hiking. Yeah, I would eat anything. <laughs> uh, no, I'll eat a human, hundred <laughs> percent. No, stop. I'll eat a dog. Where's that dog? I'll eat that dog. <laughs> he doesn't mean that. No, <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, I love dogs. Please, my favorite, like top three animal, hundred percent. So yeah, so <laughs> how many how many gifts did you guys raffle? Um, I know you guys raffled like four or five shirts. I think more, more I think, than no, I think it was like five or six. I'm and then the say. the two keychains, right? Yeah, the first two people who won the raffle, yeah, I we, gave the we gave those too. with the shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the keychains with the shirts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. Because I felt like a keychain by itself, I was like, well, dude. Eh, I don't know. I don't well, know. we have has like. to be a smaller price. No, we had like that five. We had like five shirts, two keychains. So the first person who won, I, I think I gave him a shirt and a keychain. Oh, then okay. the second person won shirt, keychain. And then shirt, shirt, shirt. And then I think some stickers in between the, the shirt. The, the good thing is that the people that we give the shirts to, and, and we talked about this, um, they already reposted us. They've been wearing it. Oh, I think beautiful. they. Yeah, and I, and we what we wanted to do is we wanted to use um, Herbert's cologne so they could smell like Herbert, <laughs> right, Herbert? What the, what's my cologne smell like? Peanut butter? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, you actually do have a peanut butter cologne? Dude, I wish. Imagine a peanut butter cologne. It's fucking smell tasty. No, uh, dude, imagine there's like a jelly cologne. I, but are you supposed to smell tasty or like attractive? What are you supposed to smell like? I don't know what I'm supposed to smell like. I don't have any game, all right? I don't know <laughs> the last time. I don't know how De- to be simple. Definitely stay yeah. away from any peanut butter. No, dude, there's no game. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, but yeah, so the, the good thing, though, like everybody was happy, though. We had a good time after the repelling team. We waited for you guys forever. I'm going to be real with you, Enrique. We waited no, for I know, like I know. 30 minutes. But it's fine, though. Everybody. We, I, we had struggles up there. Time I, the think, rope, I think that's why we're, I was like, yo, like they're going to take a little while. Like, let's do the raffle now. You know, yes. we'll, we'll make some time like that. And, so, and, yeah, we did. And it was great. And then um, I know a lot of people were eating their lunch or their snacks, whatever. Because I always tell because I told them I was like, hey, it's going to be a hard hike. Bring food because uh, we're going to be hanging out. Right. Um. So yeah, so once um you guys want I know when you guys got down um we left uh, people started leaving so that's a good thing because um it was a big group it was like I said forty one of us um with the baddies and um once we started leaving the group like everybody split split off but we were still seeing like I could still see you guys from far right and then you guys stopped I think no who stopped I think Herbert you guys stopped like at the very end and they were leading it and they stopped right right before the rocks started or ended I guess yeah remember. Oh yeah, yeah. We stopped right. Where we broke off, I guess. Where right. I broke off. Yeah, right. Right when it start, like that. There's like an easy part of the hike, and then there's a hard part. We, yeah, we stopped right at the very end of the hard one. Where where the sign is at? Yeah, Black yeah, Star, the sign. Yeah, yeah, the Black Star Canyon right. sign. Yeah. And I know that that was cool because then everybody regrouped and mm-hmm. then we walked to our cars. Um, but yeah, we saw a lot of people though. Um, and on the way there, like we we're helping, like me and Erika were helping, like literally, like moms or like you know someone's moms, like past. We love, we love moms. Yeah, and dads too. Oh yeah, daddies for sure, hundred percent. Daddies, <laughs> dads, uh, not daddies, dads. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call your dad daddy? No, no that's weird. No, 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 yeah, I don't think I've ever, or maybe when I was younger, but, <laughs> but no, I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. It's become like over like sexualized that word. Yeah, that, that word just kind of yeah. went. I mean, tangent. in Spanish, like. Papi? 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 No, still. Like, nah, still, l- yeah, still yeah. Little girls say that, but like now women be trying to make that sexual. I'm like, yeah, dude, like dude. that's that's not the right word to make sexual. If you ever have a kid, like. 
Dude, if you call like Papi, you know, no, if you, my kid calls me Daddy, I'll sock him. No, hey Herbert, you, you'll go bodies with your. I just go <laughs> turn off the lights, bro. Like, where are we going, Dad? Just shut up. <laughs> just come to the bathroom. <laughs> You're gonna go, fight your own son. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, so if you guys don't know that, that's our like uh, in high school, we used, uh, middle school, middle school. They used to go bodies. Like bodies means when you go to the restroom or and then you turn off the lights and there'll be like no he- no face shots, no like, faces, you know yeah. faces. So <laughs> you would just punch each other in the stomach or stuff like that. A bunch but, of yeah. a bunch see, of twelve year olds going longer. at it. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> but we don't do that. We don't do that. We were old we now. Never did that. Yeah, wait, I should never the baddies start a body? We should bring thing. it. We should bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Well. No. Like, yeah, once we reach the peak, we all go bodies. <laughs> what, what the bad is are going to bring back, we're, we're going to bring back fitness into everyone's That's life. Because true. we want also, people to be healthy. And it, it, it's it's a new year. It's actually the last week of the new year. So this is actually. And 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 you're talking about the new year and all that. And the good thing is that we, we've we been uh, staying um, active. And <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, what's going oh, on, Herbert? That Herbert. <laughs> Herbert's like coughing yeah, over here. I know. He heard the word active and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not active, but no. But we started seeing active by by what I mean with active is uh we started running every weekly um even though we still hike uh, a lot of people have been joining us running um the good thing is this past run though that we did uh we ended up taking ginger shots at the very end right guys we took ginger shots um I know some of you guys didn't have never heard of ginger shots or I know it's um, non alcoholic it's basically it's a ginger with orange with lemon with cayenne uh black pepper because uh herbert likes pepper my favorite spice yeah, you can you can mix it up yeah yeah so we took ginger shots at the very end of our run and it was a what 3.2 uh, 3.1 run uh in glendora like we always do mm-hmm. um and everybody did a good job uh, we even has new faces um um even our like our friend uh, maribel she joined us because i know she'd been joining us on the hikes yeah. and she started running with us and i was like what like th- i was like is this your first time running the three miles she's like yeah so she walked some parts but it's fine though because it's all paces right yeah no, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy that um, everyone came out and we did meet some new faces. And I think it was really cool to how, how everyone's trying to start their, their fitness journey and trying to get motivation for it and stuff. So I, 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 was, I was really excited. I was in the, in the front. I was in the back kind of. And then I was in the front towards the end or backwards. But yeah, well, me and Enrique always like um, we switch off and we sw- yeah, we switch off we uh, control yeah, the masses. Yeah. But, but so who fun. likes it in the back more? Uh, we switch off. So I guess it doesn't matter. It's that's, fit, it's that's, 50 nice. 50. that's a good relationship. It's 50 like <laughs> 50. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but real quick. Um. One thing I want to say is uh, we got stickers. Um, and oh, when yeah. I, we got, finally, we got stickers. Uh, we got a lot, tons of stickers. So we're going to be giving out stickers. Uh, and uh, these stickers uh, look the same like the older stickers. Um, and um, I know a lot of people have been asking for them to slap them on their hydro flask or whatever, you know, you name it. On your cars, on your, on your neighbor's car or something like, you know. That's no, no, don't do that. Just slap it on your yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know the stickers are, are live now. So whenever you see us at a hike or at a, any type of fitness event, uh, you want a sticker, let us know because we'll be carrying them. Um, I know like the past two hikes, uh, we haven't been ha- having them, right? Guys, uh, so we, we feel bad. We had shipment errors, but everything's taken care of now. So now we have everything we normally have. So we're more than happy to hand out stickers. So just just let us know. Or, or join our hikes, actually, and join our runs, and then have some fun. And you get rewarded a sticker. So you see, that's even better. You get a sticker. You get a ginger shot. Maybe a tequila shot. I don't know. And you get to meet the baddies. I mean, we're pretty cool, you know? Like, <laughs> Are we really cool? Let's I mean, be, enough. Let's be honest. Like one through, yeah, we're one cool through, enough. One through ten, <laughs> like, like if five is passing, we're like a six. I yeah. think we're a solid six, yeah. <laughs> six point, six point five. Dude, I've been a solid six since fucking like 2005. 100%. <laughs> Damn, dude. T- 2005. That's pretty high, dude. That's yeah. a good six. I yeah, mean, six man. is good. Six is not a five. Six is not a hey. four. Hey. <laughs> what do you say? Hey, what do you, uh, Jonathan? What's up? You're like an eight. No, I'm not an eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're like a six point two. Yeah, let's see. That, that that take the derivative of six point two, which is a zero. Yeah. Oh, derivative six point two. Yeah, zero. Yeah, it is zero. It is zero. It is zero. Hey, zero. We're, we're gonna get we're we're gonna bring some uh, nerd stuff here. Oh, I podcast. love nerdy stuff. <laughs> uh, I'll show you how to take derivatives, Herbert. Integrations, derivatives. You tell me, bro. I learn better like at night, though. I learn. That's my my. Like with my, the lights on or off? Off. Well, uh, we have to teach with the lights on. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no. You have to see everything. No. And I like to, <laughs> to I like get to, embarrassed and see everything. I like to, like, learn. Like, you have to whisper. Like, when I learn something, you have to whisper it in my ear. 100%. That's, like, the best way I learn. That's why my professor is, like, oh, I think they I thought it was that weird. scary movie where that one girl likes to say everyone's name in a deep voice so she remembers it better. Which movie was that? <laughs> Did I scary movie 2 or something? That was that funny. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, so... And, and, and everybody, the, the good thing is that everybody for, um, for the hikes, 
they've been asking the hike every time. To be honest, every every single time we finish a hike, they always say like, "When's the next hike?" And I love it. I love the energy. Mm, it's I exciting. Lo- it's 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 like inspirational. Like it kind of like more. It's it's some it's almost like accountability. You meet new people, and even though you just met them, you're already asking, "When's the next hike?" Because I want to I want to join the group, and it's almost like being held accountable, and you get to have fun, meet new people. And then I posted a meme that said on the, I don't know if you guys saw that, but on the left and the right picture and it said on the left, it's like, um, you know, a person with a belly and on the right with like a person with a kind of like a six oh, like pack a fit, or four, like yeah, body. fit body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I posted, it, I was like, Hey, um, when you meet the baddie or no, before you meet the baddies and then when you start hiking with the baddies, so everybody's all like, Hey man, like I'm in on the next one. <laughs> so it's like, it just like you, you said, Enrique, an accountability squad, it's like accountability and motivation. Yeah. So we're here for you guys and we're not charging you guys. Is that right? Herbert? No, but we will start a payment plan by what March? <laughs> a, a, a monthly <laughs> subscription to the baddies. We'll set up a Venmo, you know. Yeah, we'll set up a Venmo. We're, we're like we're only gonna take crypt, uh, cryptocurrencies. Well, yeah, yeah. Dogecoin. Herbert, yeah. let's be real, dude. Inflation is high. Like, what's going on? Like, inflation is high. Like, what? How much are you gonna charge him? I don't know, dude. I, I've been texting Biden. Like, I just send him a question mark. Like, hey, dude, what's up? What are you doing? Like, he just never texts me back. He just <laughs> leaves me on red. He the probably bad. just forgets. <laughs> the bad. Yeah, he probably doesn't. He probably doesn't even know how to work a phone. Let's be honest. Dude. <laughs> no. <that's> still, I <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> No, but uh, no, but real, real talk though. Inflation is high, guys. Um, um, if you guys go like um shopping, you see it. Ev- you see it everywhere. I'm gonna be honest. Use the coupons. Yes, <laughs> use the cup- coupons and like uh, uh, I think um, stay away from um meat and go vegan. No, yeah. that's not true. It's <laughs> I just. I mean, it's it's healthy. I I would say moderation and everything. Yeah, yeah. Dude, meat is going up. Everything's going up. It's crazy. Dude, I've never it, seen anything. Wasn't like chicken it. gone like all last week a little bit? So supposedly chicken's gone up. I heard everything. No, and Everything. Uh, yeah, I mean. that's that's what we started running though. I'm gonna be real. Like, I don't want to drive anymore. Like, dude, it, oh to, to buy a new yeah. car, how much it costs? Like ten thousand plus oh, MSRP. Yeah. <coughs> like, am I gonna spend ten yeah, thousand? It's crazy. No, you used don't cars are like up. Everything. Yeah, like a lot, dude. yeah it's Everything. like insane. Dude. Hey, Ronnie, how how much is your car? <laughs> I just <laughs> Shit. my car right now. I don't even know honestly, but <laughs> it's I like <laughs> hey, let, let's start. Can we wrap for your car in the next? <laughs> like, you, wrap. you can probably get my car from a vending machine. Wrap it off at the peak. Like we're, we can just leave the car at the peak. <laughs> just, just like, the, like, like a pink slip. Here's the keys. Yeah, yeah. Just drop it Good off. Luck. Like, I know. Air, airdrop it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole digital world. That's crazy. Oh, uh, but I, I I know that um yeah like like I said new faces have been showing up and um guess what we have a we've been like we've been posting like the good thing is we do night hikes we do day hikes morning hikes mostly morning and night hikes and i know a lot of people it's crazy they haven't done night hikes like a lot of people are scared of doing night hikes i don't and know they're beautiful they're, they're such a great experience honestly with with the sun away and the moon out you know what i mean like like it's 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 i, I think it's really fun to see hiking in the night the the, the mountains in the night the moon the stars like it's just different because you're not used to that when you live in the cities you're in la you're in the Suez, glendora all these cities around us and you kind of get used to the city life and when once you get to the mountains in the nighttime though it's a whole different experience and you can see the lights of the city it kind of makes you feel more like california vibes that you see in movies compared to like your daily life that's a little more monotone yeah the one thing is i like is how quiet it is oh, like yes. everything is r- like hustle and bustle and normal life and then when you're out there it's just quiet like yeah. time to time to pause no yeah i feel you herbert because even um well me and you we went to um, wisdom tree went to the wisdom tree hike oh that's right talk about that yeah. that's right that's that right. was actually like i've never gone first of all and the view of okay first of all very short hike super awesome i i was expecting like a little worse than that you know but yeah no it took us like half an hour to get up there and i was like what like this is it this is awesome because I, I mean i was dying but i was like heck yeah we're done you know everybody's up there we're taking pictures and then you could see all of like LA and then obviously the like the backside of it like Glendale I think yeah Glendale so it's a really awesome view but the thing is that we went on a Friday the weekend that the Santa Ana winds were like crazy like strong oh, I remember yeah so that Friday when we got up there it was nice and calm and then we're taking pictures and then I don't know where like this gust of air just like came like out of nowhere and people had left like their little backpacks and their jackets on the floor and then tell me why like all of those just started like slowly like flying away and i was like everybody like grab your <laughs> shit you know before he like stuff, goes yeah. everybody's like screaming i was like oh my god but it was awesome uh, we went up there for uh, christmas birthday yeah, so christmas. it was like a little birthday hike yeah, for her happy so birthday, that was christmas. awesome yeah. happy belated birthday i know yeah. she's Ooh. uh she's out in out in the east right now yeah she's, she's like uh she's like one of our 
She's gonna be a baddie. We just keep postponing it. She's a senior. Senior what? She's a senior. Um, senior. like liaison. She's gonna be like the representative for any of the senior citizens in senior the baddie. Executive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, senior executive. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. But uh, I but, told her not to hit anybody. Hopefully, she falls through. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love you, Kristen. Yeah, um, we love Kristen. How long was yeah. the hike, though? It was, it was like a how long was oh, it? Oh, yeah. So, Wisdom Tree, um, I have the stats here. Uh, so, total length is 3.9 miles. And But here's the thing, though. Here's the catch. The elevation gain is pretty gnarly. It's 1,400 feet. Ooh, for four Damn. miles, basically. That's like in so, two miles, 1,000 yeah, feet. Yeah, two miles, you're 1,500 feet. So, it was. That's fun. The whole yeah. hike was inclined. Yeah, yeah, whole, yeah basically. Yeah, it, but but it was fun. It, it was cool. I remember when I did it last time or a while back. Um, it was a uh, it was really rocky, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, I know some if you take a dog, like sometimes you know dogs are afraid to like go through rocks. Some some dogs. I'm not saying mm-hmm. all of them, but um, you just gotta be careful when you when you look at a hike. Make sure that you read the comments and see like if it's is dog it friendly. like dog friendly? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it says yeah you can take dogs, but sometimes some dogs I'm gonna be real like some of. The dogs are lazy. Yeah, you're not going to bring a corgi to these eggs, man. Come on. <laughs> or a little wiener, wiener dog? A little wiener a, dog? A shih tzu? A, shi- a shih tzu? Uh, a little chihuahua? <laughs> Hell no, man. Leave those dogs behind. I'm sorry if you have one. Throw them off the cliff. No, I'm saying. <laughs> we love dogs. <laughs> or, or, should I cut that out? Awareness, guys. I cut that it's just no, awareness. <laughs> <laughs> or what you could do is uh, you could carry your dog with a little backpacking backpack. Oh, that's Hell so yeah, cute. You, you could have like a dog, like a, a little pouch. doggy backpack, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, think, um, I think I saw someone carrying their cat in a little capsule. Oh, like in the backpack? Yeah, little backpack. Yeah, backpack. yeah, yeah. Well, I kind of, I kind of want to bring you my cat, but my cat's fat. That's the funny I, thing. I, I've never seen a cat on a hike. Or like, you've never seen a cat on a leash. Oh, I, yeah, I, I wait, Her- Herbert, you seen coolers though? Oh yeah, that's my favorite animal, hundred percent, hundred percent. But no, yeah, like I've never seen a cat on a hike, never. Damn, I, I've seen pictures of it and videos, but not. I haven't in person seen it. Oh, like a yeah. wild cat? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, like a cat. No, like, 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 like the, the owner people cat. own oh, dogs so and take oh. them to hikes. People own cats, and since they train them since birth, to like I guess be to a little more extroverted and go on yeah. hikes and, and enjoy people. I see you see people walking their cats on a hike, and they're super like dog like cats, and they're like like small but like fast and funny, and they hike and. Okay, coming. yeah, I haven't seen that, but yeah. that would be pretty cool. Yeah, well, I mean, cool. I honestly like I'd be kind of scared to take my freaking cat on a hike, man. But you got to train them. It's like. I don't know. I'll get eaten by something out there, man. You don't yeah. know what's out there. And cats always have attitude, I feel like. Like, they always have something to say. Yeah, that is true. Like, like well, they don't say anything. They just say meow. Well, no, they <laughs> have attitude. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, they just say meow. What? Yeah, they just say yeah. meow, you, you I guess. You just got a meow back, dude. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but do, you think, back. do you think cats cuss? Like, is there a meow? Like, the way they say it, what they <laughs> cuss? Everyone <laughs> 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 said <laughs> That's going to be a title of the podcast. Meow. <laughs> 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 cats. No, but, uh, yeah, so so that's cool. Like, we all did something good. Uh, we all did different types of hikes. Like, Ronnie did the wisdom. We did Black Star Canyon, all, all of us together here. And mm-hmm. I think that was a, that was the most baddies we probably had in a, like, I think that that was the biggest turnout. Yeah, it was to I'm date, gonna, to date, yeah, to date. Well, this year too. I'm gonna yeah, be honest. Man. So well, I mean, <laughs> that's a strong start, guys. Yeah, guys, I, and I I'm happy that whoever came out there, like I'm happy you guys are pushing yourselves, and and like I said, we're helping you guys, uh, you know, get to your peaks, right? We're trying to. It wasn't yeah. even a peak; it was a waterfall, but still, it yeah, felt like a peak yeah. to some people. Yeah, you can scratch it off your list now, you know. And I know a lot of people are doing the 52 week challenge, so that's probably one of the hikes on the 52 week challenge and you could be crossing out some of the 52 week challenges with us with the baddie so that how cool is that you get to meet some <laughs> cool people right herbert oh yeah like if you want to meet cool people come with us that's like that's <laughs> like I'm, I'm serious like why hang out with like average like joes when you can hang out with the baddies <laughs> no nah, like, every, everybody's cool everybody's cool and no home. we support <laughs> everyone we love everyone <laughs> no no yeah we we do i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> everybody in the hiking community is awesome and i noticed that like i'm being serious and, and the whole like fitness um you know journey um i noticed that even other running clubs it's like they're so welcoming you know so you just gotta like you just gotta go out there you know put yourself out there and you'll notice like you might find your loved one you might find your best friend you name it you might find your tío tía. yeah dude like that's honestly even that's the hardest thing putting yourself out there is the hardest thing like in anything like truly and like that's why i really like this group because 
Like, I don't know where I would be. Like, I'm a really docile, introverted person, and this has really helped me, like, to Aww. expand on shit. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I'm just giving my point of view. I'm serious. Damn, Herbert. Damn. Damn. I'm going to start crying, dude. Like, don't, don't, don't cry. Hey, where's that tequila? No, I don't, uh-huh. I don't want ginger shots. Yeah, I want a tequila shot now. <laughs> Some whiskey or what? Hey, up? Herbert, what are you drinking out there? Are Stop, you bro. You guys going to make me this cry. This guy's in his feelings, man. What's I going know, on? I'm just, I just said something nice. What are you guys going to do? Hey, this is you're I, normally mean and horrible. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, is, is Drake calling you or what? That Drake, yeah, he brought the hot sauce. Yeah, Drake's coming. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for listening to us. And that went back pretty fast. You know what I mean? So like, just listen to us. Stay tuned because we have a lot of heat bringing you guys. And like I said, we're going to be bringing more hikes and more running and more fitness events. And like I said, if you haven't listened to us, we're on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, and uh, we're on YouTube and on Instagram and even on TikTok. So Instagram, like there are bios there. So just make sure that you follow us and hit us up. DM us because we're here to talk to you guys. Thank you guys.